What's happening, YouTube? Anthony on Power Rangers Lost the Galaxy fan film with my latest Power Rangers Lightning Collection review on the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Turbo slash In Space Phantom Ranger. Because while it says In Space Phantom Ranger, it's really actually a character from Power Rangers Turbo because, well, to coincide with the release of Blue Centurion, if you haven't pre-ordered Blue Centurion, he's available for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse, Amazon, Big Bag, Toy Story etc., etc., et et and blah, blah. But, you know, I don't know why I'm saying blah, blah for some reason, how I mentioned Mother and all that. Anyway, so the Phantom Ranger, I have always wanted as an action figure for years. There have been some a few action figures or so for him from Power Rangers Turbo's original toy line from Bandai America. And I still have a Ranger key of the Phantom Ranger from Super Mega Force in my collection. But now, here I have as an action figure of him is a premium grade lightning figure of the guy. Even though Phantom Ranger has always been one of my favorite characters in Power Rangers. And one of my favorite characters from Turbo. He also, although he's really labeled as an in-space character because the reason Hasbro went with the in-space label for him. Now, even on the side of the box says Power Rangers in space, but we're realizing Phantom Ranger is a character originated from Turbo. But since, well, given the notion from Hasbro and when they know about Turbo being a really very disliked season, but he was still the best thing that came out of that season for both Turbo and in space. Um, got this pre-owned for about 15 bucks on Amazon, but I, of course you can get it well for whatever the price he's available for mainly, but I had to get him for cheap because I was running low on money anyway. So I had to get him for a quick, but for a quick 15 bucks because while it's in pre pre used condition, it, it's still probably a still good looking figure. I just hope it's not as loose as any of my other six Ranger figures I only have so far. But anyway, let's get on with the Phantom Ranger. Okay, so now that we got the Phantom Ranger out of the box, let's take a look at a few of his accessories. Like usual, back to looking at interchangeable hands because I'm always doing that the first thing off. Yeah, interchangeable hands are all ball fists and nothing more. You can also use these ball black fists for any other character with a black with some black gloves on, like Magna Defender or anybody uh, in particular with the bald fist. I don't know if it can fit for any of the female characters wearing black like Astronema or any of the female Psycho Rangers, but these are a good pair of black fists that you can use, but it's really mainly from the Phantom Rangers release. But, yeah, there are also a good pair of hands in case if I, you know, lose any of the hands that are from the main figure itself. For the lightning effect pieces, this comes... Whoops, I get, I've been dropping this piece a lot. This little red lightning effect piece comes from his, his blaster. I don't know what it's really called because I hardly ever see the Phantom Ranger with this thing during Turbo. While... It is a good decent lightning effect piece because the, this is the first effect piece that will come from when the Phantom Ranger is shooting his gun. Just like also what I've noticed from the Power Rangers Legacy War game where the Phantom Ranger had this effect. But I don't think this effect could work with when plugging this to like where his ruby is. Let's take a look how it looks. No, I don't think the peg could go into the wait yeah it can like if he was taking a good you know a shot to the chest like where his ruby is you can get that effect piece going but it's really mainly for the gun that he has so yeah that lightning effect piece is fine yeah this is a new lightning effect piece added to my collection this one however goes to where his chest is because what was weird when I saw product images for the Phantom Ranger for the Lightning Collection, this effect piece will be all around his chest. And it, it looks like ice cold blast effect. I don't know what this effect is for. I mean, now let's take a look how that effect piece uh seams on his chest if you know it doesn't matter what direction you put it on but that's how it actually looks when looking at the phantom ranger like he's getting obliterated and blasted by an enemy and just looking at that that's just how he looks with that piece on his chest it's not like uh, his ruby has the ability to make him turn ice cold or anything or maybe this is his invisibility transformation effect and uh, I think that's what they did. Yeah, it looks like a good, you know, effect, even though it looks like if the character had the power of uh, freezing people and or freezing himself. But it's really actually the effect when he turns invisible. So, yeah, there's that piece. 
And now as for this gun, what is this thing? Because yeah, the you know, the Phantom Ranger did have this weapon and it's supposed to have the bylines of the Turbo team insignia on it, but we get the triangle from that team's logo, but when we get the lightning, you know, the you know, Turbo Rangers going on in the Lightning collection, but that's exactly what this is right here because even the camera's getting a good view with this weapon but what is this weapon called again this blaster gun the phantom ranger had because i don't believe he had this in an episode of turbo maybe i have to go back and rewatch turbo and any of the episodes the phantom ranger was in and see if he did use this weapon or not i don't think he recall i don't think i he i, I believe he did use something similar like this when he sent a decoy you know a beacon message to the space rangers in the delta discovery episode you know when he had the gun facing this way. Oh, so I think he, no, wait, he did use this weapon in, in space because I do recall he did use something like this to send a distress beacon to the space Rangers about finding out about Zordon's capture. I do remember in that Delta discovery episode in, in space when he used this weapon. So this was like the only time this was ever used from him. And now let's take a look at the Phantom Ranger himself. Oh my God. This looks incredible. You know, if they had done an action figure of the Phantom Ranger like this, let's raise the camera up a little bit since I'm using the tripod selfie stick with the camcorder mounted on. And take a look at the Phantom Ranger and the amount of decal on his armor. Oh my God. Yeah, the armor is about, is like rubber. And when I pulled this out, it's not as, you know, it's lanky and loose on the hinge area where you're moving the abdomen and the butterfly joint to the abdomen. And like all Lightning Collection figures, he can do elbow crunches, but not much given the amount of armor on the arms. And I do like the way how the hands are sculpted, especially with his signature, uh, how the Phantom Ranger is signatured. And let's see how he looks posing like he would in the show. If I can get that pose right, it's a very iconic pose. And let's zoom in brief and quickly. And he looks pretty good posing like that. But I do like the way how Hasbro did a good job sculpting the helmet, even though it look, looks like a matte finish of the helmet, but not really. But other than that, it still looks pretty good. You know, Phantom Ranger had never had an identity seek, you know, being revealed outside of that um, throughout In Space or Turbo. So I know that even though I haven't read Boom Studios Power Ranger comics, but I know that in the Power Rangers Unlimited book, I believe they did do a Phantom Ranger one shot comic where they revealed his identity since the TV show didn't want to uh, reveal it at all. And um, yeah, because I've always wanted a Phantom Ranger action figure and I got him. Let's see how he stacks up with my other black suited companions of Rangers. And take a look at how the Phantom Ranger stacks up with Magda Defender, the Gold Zeo Ranger, and Zack as the original Black Ranger. Well, since I got about like four Black Rangers, even though, yeah, the Gold Ranger is kind of a Black Ranger, but he's really a Gold Ranger. But he still counts. But yeah, all that Black. And uh, I, I forgot to bring out SPD Shadow, but oh well. But even though Doggy Kruger as the Shadow Ranger has a black suit underneath that blue armor, but I just don't feel like getting them out. But just to see how the Phantom Ranger stacks up with the other four black suited Rangers, well, armored actually, Magna Defender. And speaking of that, move Gold Zeo and Mighty Morphin Black away. And you got your little semblance nod to Boom Studios Power Rangers Shattered Grid, where Magna Defender and Phantom Ranger had a panel shot with one another yep there's your shattered grid reference if only if i could recreate that image of them talking and see how they don't really uh take their helmets off you know what's really crazy when you think about this now that i have the phantom ranger one of my favorite characters in power rangers you see how it's so familiar to me as both the power rangers and halo fan phantom ranger pretty much predates master chief from halo by a mile when you look at the when i look at master chief's helmet I think of the Phantom Ranger. That is crazy. But even though I'm glad I got that this Master Chief figure, and I'm glad I got the Phantom Ranger. It's just so damn cool why I love both Power Rangers and Halo. But don't worry, I'm going to get back more to doing the Spartan Collection for Halo. But on again, back to Power Rangers. In conclu conclusion, the Phantom Rangers Lightning Collection figure is a must-have. It's really great. He is perhaps one of the, you know, considerably based on that Morphin Madness contest from 2014. He is one of the top five greatest Rangers of all time. Up there with Tommy as the White Ranger. Jason is the original Red Ranger, the Ty Ryan is the Titanium Ranger, and Jen is the Pink Time Force Ranger. Well, although once when I get 
whenever they do Time Force Pink and the Lightspeed Rescue Titanium Ranger, I will recreate that Morphin Madness Top 5 Rangers uh, portrait um, whenever they do so. Because, yeah, I've always wanted a Phantom Ranger action figure uh, ever since I was a kid. And while it, the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers Turbo is over, get ready for the 25th anniversary of In Space. Since even though this came with a weapon that phantom ranger did use from in space so anyway guys this was a quick review i was not going to talk about it much because if i had a whole bunch of lightning collected figures with uh interchangeable heads and hands and all that other doodads um but again phantom ranger is just basically two lightning effect pieces two um interchangeable hands this gun and just himself basically so anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time with another review on the channel with any more power rangers lightning collection marvel legends halo spartan collection and whatever else thanks for watching and also hit the bell and the notification and be be notified whenever i upload a new video